the book doesn't have a central message so much as it has a central question. So throughout the book, I kept asking myself, what does it mean that we've been going to space for 50 years and now it seems like we're going to stop? What does it mean for a, a nation that defines itself as a spacefaring nation to not have its own spacecraft anymore? And that was a question that led me through the book and it was a sincere question. I think we won't stop going to space and stop exploring, but now is the time we really have to think about what do we want that to look like and, and how is that gonna get done in the 21st century? The narrator of the book, who is me, is an outsider coming to this place and having to learn its new ways. And so I think in, in some ways that makes a, a, an appropriate choice for the life of the mind because our students are coming here learning a new language, learning new acronyms, and adapting themselves to that. It's, it's, those transitions can be hard, but it can also be a positive thing, and that's one thing I hope that students will see in the book. I'm excited to share the knowledge in this book with students. I would love for them to start their education knowing about this important piece of history. Um, but beyond that, I think it's really exciting just to have a book ab about American history that, that students are reading together. I'm really excited about all the programming that we're putting on. And we might have a special guest who was actually in orbit when I was writing my book, and he read it in orbit. I look forward to seeing you all in August for the Life of the Mind book program, and thanks for reading.